following was filmed on planet Reebok. <laughs> we thought we'd get an inline skate expert to help us with the word balance. You know, those people who skate up, down, on, over, around, anything. Oh look, I found one. I'm also about to learn the meaning of the words balance and stability. You sure are. You're watching PETV. All right. Hi, I'm Chris Dudley. You're watching PETV. Hey, welcome to PETV. I'm hanging out here in the PETV clubhouse with one of my favorite people in the entire world. So, a little joke for you. Well, today on PETV, our episode is going to look at a skill that is required in most games, activities, sports, and even dance. It's balance. Now, balance is defined as your ability to control your body, whether you're in a stationary or in a moving position. Football linemen need balance to block. Tennis players demand balance in order to return balls, and dancers require balance to successfully land their leaps. Not to mention that skateboarding, inline skating, hockey, diving, biking, surfing, all require an efficient use of balance. Now, improving your technique is gonna help everybody stay balanced, and our guests today have some great tips, so stick around, don't go anyplace. I'm working on my balance in the hammock. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sensing that the ability to stay balanced is an important skill in aggressive skating. Am I right? Yeah. Balance is definitely the key. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so now then how do you stay balanced when you guys are grinding away or when you're doing those jumps and you're coming out of it and crazy things? Okay. Basically, the, the most important thing is keeping your knees bent so that your center of gravity is pretty low. Okay. Like um, this? Yeah. You keep them about shoulder width apart. Okay. And uh, make sure your knees, your nose, and your toes are pretty much all on the same line and you're good to go. Okay, what about your your butt? Your booty. Gotta stay like more yeah. down. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. Let's okay. go practice. Cool. Notice where my center of gravity is. When I land the jumps, I have a good stable base. And my balance allows me to stop, pivot, grind, or change direction at any given moment. Keep in mind that when I do all this, I'm transferring my weight, thereby automatically adjusting my center of gravity. I remember doing gymnastics in PE class when I was in grade school. PE was pretty difficult for me. <laughs> Every day it was a challenge. Since I was the smallest person, they'd wait till I got, I, I was uh, mostly naked and uh, they'd pin me down and throw me, like go next door and throw me in the girls' locker room. That was always my favorite class. I'd like run to that one. It's kind of uh, nerve wracking at first, but after a while, it, you know, I kind of got used to it. It was, you know, the girls got used to it after a while too. I wasn't good at, you know, throwing a football or making a basket. Those weren't my uh, best points. If we made a mistake or did anything wrong or weren't listening when we were playing dodgeball or something like that, he would always make us have to run this pine tree, which being in third grade just seemed like the longest or the farthest distance ever. And I enjoyed going to gymnastics practice every day because I was a little bit better than that. And I progressed at that better than I did, say, at football at five foot six and a half. I just remember telling my teacher, my PE teacher once, because we were playing around on the balance beams, and I told her that you know, someday I'm going to be in the Olympics. You might want to get my autograph. And she goes, well, okay, well, I will, because I'm sure you'll be there someday. And I think my mom came one day. She's like, what is he making you do? And I was just like, you know, no big deal. Like, it's just this, you know, he just makes this run. And she's like, that's so abusive. I'm like, no, it's fine. In Barcelona in 1992, I remembered my PE teacher telling me that I could make it. We didn't like it in the beginning, but he kind of forced us to kind of enjoy exercising, in a, in a sense, <laughs> eventually. And I remember I wrote her a letter after that, just thank her for, you know, giving me that positive attitude and reinforcing the fact that I thought I could do it. All right, 
Here we are at the beach in Southern California with surfing expert Jeff Jesse. How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, is today a good day to get out there and try a little surfing? You know what? Any day there's surf is a good day to surf. And right. there is some waves today, so it looks good. All right, before we actually get out there, why don't you spend a little time here on land giving me a couple pointers so when I actually get out there, I'll know what I'm doing. Sounds good. All right. Let's start off with some basics. First of all, do you know how to swim? Yes. OK. I've that's, done that that's, before. That's very important. You, you want to know how to swim. And uh, you kind of want to get a little bit of a knowledge of the layout of the ocean mm -hmm. here. OK, now when I'm actually on the board, how do I want to lay on it when I'm paddling? Okay. Getting out, what do I need to do? What you're going to want to do is go ahead and lay down okay. on the board and situate yourself towards the nose like that. Okay. Keep your back arched. It's going to feel kind of awkward. Your neck will be sore for a little while. But keep your head up and just kind of paddle, keeping the nose out of the water. All right. It's going to have a tendency to go in. Okay. And then what you want to do is practice on your hop up, mm -hmm. which is just try and get it in a one step move, just boom and you're up. And you always stay real low. And then, you know, then you can get into positioning from there. And once again, I'd like to just touch on a really important thing is balance mm -hmm. and stability. Yeah. Right. How do I want my stance to be situated so that I'm perfectly balanced? Okay. Like where on the board? First thing you want to do is once you're up, is you've got your foot over the fins. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is just kind of center yourself in the middle of the board. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. A little bit, little bit lower. You lower. don't want me to be able to just push you over. It's okay. like you want to stay strong and stable. Okay. How about arms wise? Am I good? Keep your way? arms out. Those are your, those are your balancing stability devices. Great. All right. Well, I'm psyched, man. You want to go surfing? I'd like to try it. <laughs> Stick around, guys. <laughs> right after this, I will be out there on the waves or under the waves. <laughs> But I'm going to try it. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Betty Okino. Did you know that your ears help you stay balanced? Inside each ear, there are tiny little particles that are just like chalk dust. If I start to lose my balance on the beam, the particles push against little hairs inside my ears. The hairs are connected to nerves that warn my brain. And then my brain tells my body, especially my arms and legs, what it must do to get back in balance. Hmm, wonder what happens to those particles when I'm upside down. Guess my brain got the message. Yeah, now do you know what the two types of balance are? Let's see. Off balance and maybe... Ah, I knew it was wrong. They're static and dynamic. Well, okay, well, what's the difference? Okay, static, stationary. Like we're doing now. Yeah. So if you want to see how they apply to other sports, check this out. Maintaining your balance while moving around is known as dynamic balance. That's the kind of balance we're demonstrating right now. This is so much fun. Thanks for the advice, Dana. Thanks for having me here. How about I try the pop quiz and you take another crack at the ramp? You got it. All right. Which activities require good balance? A, football and boxing. B, mountain biking and water skiing. C, gymnastics and wrestling. D, all of the above. The answer is D. Almost all physical activity requires good balance, especially in football and boxing, where the fundamental object of the opponent is to upset your balance and potentially knock you over. Hi, my name is Sam Tith. And I'm Dusty Towler. Welcome to Class Act. We're at Maine Middle School in Seattle, Washington. Today at Class Act, we're going to show you one of our favorite activities in PE class, unicycling. Unicycling is a great way to exercise and have fun at the same time. It also helps to learn and improve balance. Here's some unicycling tips. Wait on seat. Wait on seat. My seat. My seat. My seat. My seat. My seat. My seat. 
Place the wheel against the wall. Pedals are parallel, half rotation. Spotters stand on each side with hands lightly supporting your outstretched hands. Once you're upright, the majority of your weight is distributed to the seat. Only put light pressure on the pedals. From this position, begin to pedal forward with spotters at each side. As soon as spotters feel you push down on their hands, they stop and vocalize. Something like, heavy on the seat. When pressure eases, the spotters begin moving forward again. When you can move across the floor with light pressure on the pedals, you may eliminate one spotter and eventually ride unassisted. Pivot. You had it, you had it. With a lot of practice, you'll eventually be able to try backwards riding, footsie, juggling, stomach riding, or you can even ride a giraffe. Hey, PETV, it's all about balance. I hope you'll have a chance to unicycle at your school. But until then, that's it for Meany Middle School. And keep watching PTV! Okay, Jeff, any last second advice for me? Remember what we went over, okay? Balance is the key, stability. Uh -huh. Once you feel the wave pushing you, jump up. Remember okay. to hop up. I've right had up, practice that for an hour. Anyways, pop up into position. When you're in position, Jump up, go, and I'm hoping that you're going to ride the thing all the way to the beach. All right. Before we go, though, what, what is this thing attached to my ankle? Why do you have this thing on me? That's your best friend. Keeps right. you guys attached. I thought you were my best friend. Well, I'll be out there looking for you. I'll be your best friend. All right. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's, Let's do it! it! Best way to get past the breakers is to push the nose of your board underwater until it's submerged. And, uh, and let the wave go over you. Best way to line up and ride a wave is to wait till you see where the peak is breaking, line yourself up with the peak, aim yourself towards the shoulder, paddle as fast and hard as you can, and once you feel the wave pushing you, push yourself up as quick as you can. Kind of try to negotiate your way to the bottom of the wave without, without uh, having your nose dig into the wave, and then uh, hopefully ride the wave all the way to the beach. Jeff, I gotta tell you, I'm exhausted. The ocean, it really beat you up out there. Yeah, I can do that to you, but I gotta hand it to you. For a rookie, you did a good job. Hey, thanks, man. And I gotta tell you, I appreciate all the helpful pointers you gave me. I think it helps speed along the learning curve. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna head back out for a couple more. You wanna come with me? Oh, you know what? Um, no, you go ahead, go on, go on. I'll catch up in a little bit. You sure? No, yeah, I'm positive. I'm gonna work a little bit on my dry land training. All right. You know? Dry land training. Oh. oh, yeah. Hey, don't forget, everybody can improve on performance related fitness skills, especially balance. It doesn't take talent, it just takes effort. So find something you like and do it for 20 minutes every day. Pick it out and just practice. You know, I want to thank all our guests today on the show, especially Meany Middle School. So until next time, see you here on PETV. I'll show Jose about surfing. Come on, the big kahuna's coming, baby. Yeah. Hey, well, that's it for another well-balanced episode of PETV. See you guys next week. Thanks, Dana, for being on the show. My pleasure. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody.